Hello, I'm Dave Fisher from Mobac Design. I'd like to introduce a new universal iPhone app called EasyCam. Already millions of people, myself included, are enjoying their new iPad. However, many people were surprised that the iPad did not include a built-in camera. This lack of a camera has been a real sticking point for a lot of review sites. We set out to address this by providing an easy to use camera for the iPad using something you may already own, an iPhone. The EasyCam app lets you use the built-in camera on your iPhone as the camera for your iPad. There are two options for getting connected, one that uses Bluetooth and another that uses the internet. Let's start by showing you the Bluetooth option first. Bluetooth is a convenient connection mechanism because any device within approximately 30 feet can get connected. You simply select a device from the list to request a connection, and then once you accept the connection, the preview images will display not only on the iPhone, but also on the iPad. You can see there are two windows on the iPad, one for preview images and one for capture images. To help me demonstrate the device, I've enlisted the help of my beautiful daughter, McKinley. Hello, McKinley. You can see that the preview images automatically update, and if I rotate the camera device, the preview images automatically change orientation to match. Likewise, if I capture in this orientation, the capture frame rotates to match. In addition to quick capture, you can also choose high resolution. When you request a high resolution image, a photo is taken by the camera and sent over at a much higher definition. It takes a little longer to receive the photo, but the image quality is well worth the wait. Once you have a captured image using either capture or high resolution, there are many things you can do with it. You can choose to tap on the image to view it full screen, zooming in or out as you like. You can also choose to crop the image to get only the region that you want. And you can choose to share the image via email. From here, you can choose to type a message to whoever you like, and the photo is automatically attached. In addition to email sharing, the photos are also stored locally on the device. So you can view your captured images later using the built-in photos application. You can, of course, also choose to download the photos to your computer when you sync the device. This shows how EasyCam provides a camera source for the iPad, but it actually does much more. As a universal app, it can be used between any of Apple's mobile devices. So for example, here I have an iPhone and an iPod Touch, and I can provide a camera source to an iPod Touch. You can also make a connection between an iPhone and another iPhone. Since the camera is separate from the display device, there are all sorts of creative possibilities. To get you thinking about ideas, let's get connected again to the iPad, this time showing you the online mode. This connection method, referred to as the bump online mode, lets you use Wi-Fi, 3G, or even Edge to get connected. The advantage of this mode is that once you're connected, you're no longer limited to 30 feet. You can go anywhere you have internet access. To get connected, you physically bump the two devices together. This triggers the connection. This technology, developed by a company called Bump, makes getting connected quick and easy. You can see that the images are shared just like they were before. They're displayed not only on the iPhone screen, but also on the iPad. And at this point, you can do whatever you want with the mobile camera device. Something I thought would be fun is to add the iPhone onto my remote control car. Now I can drive the remote control car wherever I like, and the iPad displays whatever the camera sees. There are all kinds of creative possibilities. EasyCam is available on the App Store as a paid app, but it's also available as a free version called EasyCam Lite. We recommend you try EasyCam Lite and see if you enjoy EasyCam as much as we do.